back with it, but instead of using a single strand of this uh, filament I found, I'm using the whole filament, just a brief little piece of it. So um, we're going to do a 6 amp, or we'll start out on 2 amps, I guess. It's probably better. I'm just connecting the leads to a not even remotely safe homemade system. There we go. Here we go. This is what I needed. All right. Actually, he sits right there for just a moment. I need to hook this up and do it right. One second. Stay with me. Well, brief moment. Test two. Instead of using a single strand of filament, we are using a full strand. Uh, I was doing a whole lot better earlier, but the last one seemed to kill itself. I got good results earlier. Two amps. Ooh, hold it. Arcing across the wrench I have laying here. a lot brighter. That's on two amps. Let's try six. Too much. Six amps was a hair bit too much. So disconnect the power. We're going to do one more test. It'll be kind of cool. Full filament on 110. I don't expect it to ask, last long because the uh, filament's oxidized and kind of frayed. That was actually the point that it was frayed at, so uh, expected. Filament is shortened, oxidized but a full strand as opposed to a single. Uh, we are going to test it out on two amps. Two amps. Two amps. It's just too short. It's going to melt. Yep. Didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. remainder of all my filament. Uh, we're looking at, we're at 6 amps, 12 volts, and uh, quite a bit of filament. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. It's just kind of acting as a heating element right now, not really producing light. Yeah, it's producing light, but not a lot. Probably shouldn't do this, but I want to know because that is the first one that is not, you know, exploded <laughs> or showed signs of too much weakening. So we're going to let that cool. I'll talk for a second. We'll plug this up to, uh, whoo, sure got hot. Plug this up to 110. Here we go. Didn't throw the breaker. I th it must have. I think it blew the bottom. Is that what it did, or did it? Is it still good? That time it broke. Uh, it just it did. It looks like it just where it was crept blew that clean off. Hmm. Experiments later. I have this length of filament in there, full thread, meaning not one strand, it's all of it. Six, uh, we'll do two amps to start. Two amps. No spark? Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. 
This would be cool at night. It's the middle of the day. It's all bright. Let it cool down a hair. Six amps. Don't want to burn it out. Trying to avoid destroying all these. And it's six amps for you. Seems like it's sustainable. Not seeing any movement. Throwing off some heat though. That's more like a actual light bulb. There's a lot more light coming off of that than you'd think. Might shut the garage door and try this. This is as dark as I can get it uh, without, you know, turning off the sun. And um, that'll be a bit difficult. So we're going to turn off the light and hook her up and nothing has changed. Same filament, same 6 amps, no light. I can still see a hair bit from the garage door light. But ah, more light bulby. See, it's... It's actually, you know, throwing light off in a perfect... This fan is probably blowing right in your ears, sorry. I don't think the other one you can see from probably this far away. Let me turn off this overhead light. There is a hair bit, you know. It's even better. Burn off some heat. Seems to uh, not mind uh, full strands. We're going to have to find other things to plug up in here.